The People's Global Summit uh, is happening at a time when humanity is facing a myriad of crises. We have seen a gradual and now a more rapid disintegration of social protection systems and a breakdown of, of um, essential relationships between nations and, uh, and as well as in, within the international system. Although this has caused upheavals across the planet, it also creates an opportunity to re-examine the values and norms underpinning the relationship between people, uh, institutions, and systems. It's, it's, a, it's an opportunity to create a new, um, a new social contract. So the purpose of this summit is really to, to create a global framework within which we can all function and think collectively on how we can advance the well-being of all. It has become evident uh, that the current arrangements, whether they be in the international system, uh, in the workplace, or in our collective relationship with nature, that all, all of these uh, ways of doing that uh, we have become accustomed to are, are not sufficient uh, enough to safeguard life on this planet, and the consequences have been made uh, evident to all and exacerbated by COVID. In many ways, I think the, the collective effort to organize the summit is an achievement in itself. It's a recognition that we need to consult widely on new ways of doing things. I think that this summit can demonstrate that there's a wealth of information out there, that there are multitudes of people who are working towards a better understanding of how we can arrange ourselves better to live in harmony with nature. Now the question is, how can we better coordinate our actions? And how can we get more individuals to join us and contribute to this, to this endeavor? Um, I hope that this summit creates a sense of collective responsibility and motivation for collective action.